Okay, so here I am uh, in the simulator. This is X-Plane, it's the Beach Baron V-58, I guess. Um, twin engine, uh, general aviation aircraft. Um, what I can do here, I'd just like to show you something about uh, a few things around the uh, motion queuing algorithm and the rig itself. So if I advance the thrust levers now, the parking brake is still set. I'm not sure if you can see it from the outside, but I can already feel the rig moving forward and backwards slightly. But you can literally see that it, it can't move, it's just constrained by the parking brake. So let's release the parking brake for a minute. Uh, and there's a little jolt forward. Um, so the aircraft is rolling now. I can feel the motion, I can feel the rudder reacting, yeah. So the first thing I'd like to show you is if I happen to d drive around in, in circles here on the runway. By the way, this is Friedrichshafen, uh, Echo Delta November Yankees, the ICAO code. And I just go into a circle here. Just driving around in circles, not that you would ever want to do this in real life, but what you can probably see is that the rig is, well, is tilted now. So for you, probably the rig is tilted, but for me, the horizon is still perfectly fine. Um, so I feel centrifugal force in the aircraft while you see the rig tilted. And, um, well, the, um, the tilt and the centrifugal force that I see or expect from the visual, um, they match so fine that to me this is just centrifugal force, but you see the rig tilted. Um, the funny thing is, if I were to take off the, um, the headset, I would actually be amazed looking at the room and see how the room was tilted. It's, it just it takes a second to realize that it wasn't the room tilting, but it's actually the, the rig tilted. So let's stop this. Um, something else that you can see is then when I um, use the rudder to to yaw on the ground then the rig will initially follow the motion but as soon as I keep that yaw rate it'll fade back to zero. Okay, let's do a takeoff. Uh, prop full forward, mixture full rich. That's clear. So during takeoff you see the surge and then the tilt comes faded in and as the surge is being faded back the tilt is faded in and these two need to be coordinated to give a good illusion. Each individually is, you can tune each individually but they have to match uh, in order to, um, to produce the, the right illusion. Here's the surge and now the tilt is there and I can feel the acceleration. It doesn't look like much uh, from the outside but to me I can clearly feel that I'm being pushed back into the seat. the rumble from the runway and that just stopped now. Again, it doesn't look like much, but you feel that there is a runway underneath you and when that is all of a sudden gone, that's a very nice um, feeling and you know, oh, now you're in the air. So gear up. And also when the gear retracts, that rumble from the gear, from the, the resistance from the air and all that, that all of a sudden disappears and that's also very immersive. Okay, so we're flying along the, the shoreline of the lake here, and the easiest to show you is probably some power changes. Um, 2,500 feet and this heading. So if I take the power back, um, I feel the surge going backwards and I feel the tilts going downwards. And these two are coordinated, take a look at it. So even though the rig is now, I guess, tilted down, uh, the horizon is still right in front of me, so visually nothing has changed. And what's interesting about flying with a motion rig is that um, you actually feel what the aircraft is doing long before you see what the aircraft is doing. That makes flying uh, a whole lot easier, actually. Okay, let's do a steep turn, 2,500 feet. And again, in the roll channel, um, only the high-pass filtered um, version of what you're doing in, on the angular rate of the aircraft is being displayed here. So you feel the entry of the turn and the exit of the turn. So, right. It's rolling into a turn. And now it's faded back, it's almost yeah, pretty much neutral. 
and now rolling out of the turn just 30 more degrees and there's the reciprocal heading So it's the entry and the exit of the turn that you only feel as a pilot. It might seem strange if you've never flown an aircraft, but rolling continu with a continuous roll rate is something that you pretty much don't feel in, in an aircraft. So something else you could do is what you would typically do in uh, initial flight training rather early on is like power on, power off stalls. So let's try this for a minute, 2,500 feet over the lake. The nose is coming up and I bleed all the airspeed. Speed is decreasing, power back in. That's about a 20 to 30 degrees pitch up. There's a stall warning. And there's a stop. So you can feel the aircraft depart. And actually without having to, to look in which direction, even if I had my eyes closed, I would have immediately felt it's gonna to go to the left. So looking at it from the outside for you guys, it's probably surprising how little actually is happening, but you don't need all that much. It's, uh, it's not called acceleration queuing, it's called acceleration onset queuing. So whenever something changes around the aircraft, that's when you get a queue. Um, so very often you just need a very tiny, slight tactile queue, and that's really all you need in conjunction with the, with the visual to give you a very good illusion of the flight. So there's Friedrichshafen Airport um, right ahead of all the gear. <coughs> And you can actually feel how the gear extends down into the airstream and that generates some drag. And again, it's not much on the rig, it's not much in the, form of, in the shape of motion, of movement, of displacement, but you can clearly feel that there's an increase in drag that pulls you back. You can also feel that that drag is, um, is applied below you, so it pulls you down. You have to change the trim a little, and these are all these little, tiny little things that tell you a lot about the aircraft uh, instantaneously without having to wait for the picture to, to show it to you. So there's free to something, the gear down flaps up landing and I'm intentionally trying to put the aircraft down with one wheel first. So it's, it's very nice when you feel like one wheel touching ground before the other. Ones are very, very immersive. that left wheel, right wheel. So go around.
So next to full stop landing in Friedrichshafen on left base uh, runway 06, I guess. And try to take a look when the, when the gear goes down. And that's a little bit of drag. I'm not sure if you've seen it. 